Hello everyone, this is Saif Ahmed Buyan. I'm the head of content of the annual Nordic IT Security Summit. And today we have with us Jan Olsen, uh, who holds the security profile of the year 2022 award. Jan, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, I work at the Swedish National Police at the Swedish Cyber Crime Center to be a little bit more precise. And I work with prevention and private public partnership creating and this, uh, absolutely also international uh, cooperations with, with both Europol and other organizations out there. Great. So, Jan, let's just uh, get on with the interview today. So um, I would like to ask you to begin with, why is it necessary to talk about cloud? I mean, what does it mean to companies and how valuable is it? Yeah, it's absolutely valuable because you have to have your information somewhere secured and most companies don't have that opportunity to, to have it in-house. They have to rely on companies outside their own to have the, the security needed to, to have it safe. But of course, it's just one step on the road, so, so to speak. You have to do much, much more. But the cloud is absolutely necessary. Um, and of course, I think after the pandemic, we know it even more regarding how important is it when it comes to cloud, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, because it, it, it's easy. You have to store your information somewhere, and in, since you don't can't, you can't handle it safe enough at home in-house, you have to use someone else to store it for you. It's kind of risky, but, I mean, it's the best way. That is what the, 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 the police authority always recommend, anyway. Mm -hmm, correct. So we agree that the cloud is not the future of the modern business, but the current must-have. And given that, even criminals are aware of this fact as well. How vulnerable is it? Yeah, it, it makes it more interesting. If, if, if you save a lot of that data that all, uh, all criminals want, they go to that place where the, the information is. So it, it demands the, the cloud owner to, 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 to have as good security as possible, because otherwise it's a jackpot for the criminals if they get get inside and can steal all this, uh, this data from data breaches. Wow. So how frequent were the attacks on this infrastructure compared to the previous period, given that Scandinavia in particular had a turbulent period? Yeah, I don't have the percentage, of course, but uh, we can see that uh, during the pandemic and, and uh, now afterwards, uh, I mean, uh, the rise of ransomware and DDoS attacks are extremely high, especially towards Sweden and uh, governmental entities in Sweden, I think that the Russians are quite angry at us because they are absolutely bombarding us with these types of, of, of crimes. So yes, it, it's increasing all, all the data breaches and DDoS attacks and ransomware and infiltrations acts towards Sweden, but not only Sweden, of course, also other countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. So would you say like it is worse than before in terms of Sweden getting attacked? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it's worse than before. We can see that in our reports, of course, but we can't see the whole picture because so mm -hmm. many companies don't report it to us when they are hit by these types of crimes. But we can see it anyway that they are, there is a rise. And when we talk to cybersecurity companies and IT security companies, they are also telling us that, yes, this is a major problem and it's going bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so how do you classify a successfully resolved case of a, such an attack? And what percentage are we talking about? Uh, it, it depends on what you're thinking about. If, if, if you look at, look into our, the number of cases where we have actually put them in jail, that number is very low, of course. But we, we are managing it quite good in, in those cases that we are cooperation with other police agencies around the world and working together and with the, the private companies that are helping us in these cases, these global investigations, there we can do a difference. But I mean, it's one out of 100, one out of 50 or something like that. Mostly we can't do anything, but the companies may not get that hurt anyway because they have good protection, even though they are attacked. The, the outcome of the attack isn't always that bad. But of course, I mean, there's billions of US dollars that appear, disappears this way through, through both the, from, from ransomware, the ransom itself, but also the cost for the companies that are hit by this. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the customer 
maybe choose another company to go to because they think that this company has a bad security and their data will be data breached someday. Or, and therefore, I think the total cost of these types of crimes are, are skyrocketing. The total wow. cost. Wow. Moving a little bit away from the uh, cloud, I was also wondering, so one thing you've just mentioned that companies are not actually reporting the incidents. So how do you approach this? Because it's a massive issue and it has been ongoing for years yes. now. I, it's not only in Sweden, and we are participating, well, I am participating in international projects from, from the commission that we're looking into the problem. How can we make companies to report it more often? I mean, they have looked it into in the US, should we regulate it that if you don't report your <laughs> criminal, uh, that's mm. not the solution. We have to make them trust. I mean, they have to rely on us. They have to, to feel that trust for us if they are reporting it. And, and of course, we have to make all companies understand that you can't protect yourself 100%. If you get hit by ransomware or whatever, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You should be transparent with that, with that information. Because if you're not transparent and your customers get to know this in a year or two that you have been darken it, so to speak, then you have a problem, a major, major problem. So always be transparent. But less than 3% of the Nordics companies are reporting it when they have had cyber attacks towards them. Less than 3%. So when there's so few companies that are reporting it, I mean, I can't show that this is a problem in Sweden. So therefore, I can't get resources to make it not happen as often as it's doing today and try to investigate more cases and help more companies because there are no reports, there are no problems. Wow. That is actually alarming. Only 3%. That's that's basically, oh my God. Um, so do you have any sort of like ideas? I mean, of course you work with cross industry, right? I mean, a lot of people or a lot of organization, let it be private, public. So. Is there any sort of like, you know, way that we can actually create awareness? I think we have mentioned this, that like, you know, um, conference like ours, it actually helps creating awareness where we're gathering, like, you know, everyone under one roof who, who is actually involved in the cybersecurity. What else is there to do, actually? Because it's really alarming when it comes to only 3% you mentioned. It's, 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 it's scary. Yeah, yeah, but, but I think... What you're talking about now, that these events that you are also having, they are absolutely something that make it much, much easier to convince companies to report. When we can talk about it, be open with it, that this is happening to us. We can see mm -hmm. this is happening. And also be transparent with the, the fact that those companies that have been transparent, haven't suffered customer loss and so on and so forth by being transparent. On the contrary, if you look at the consum attack, uh, the coup attack in Sweden. I talked mm -hmm. to a guy who was orchestrating the, the, the strategies for, for, for getting in, on feet again. And he told me that they have absolutely get more interested customers after because of their transparency. So I, if you can get that message out there that it's okay to be transparent and it's okay to get hit by this, you are, ha haven't always done anything wrong to be victimized by these types of crooks. You can get this normalizing it that it's okay. Then I think, yeah, him. Mm. Yeah, but of course they must feel trust to leave the information to the the, the national police where they ha stay. Mm. Otherwise, if there is no trust, yeah, then we have a problem. Mm. So we must also in the police agencies do much much more than we are doing today to help these these companies so they can see that if we talk to the police, it will help us somehow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Jan. So yes. uh, at the very end, perhaps the most difficult question so far, can you, um, of course, from the police perspective, tell us that the time will soon come when doing business on the cloud will be safe or is this still a distant wish? I mean, I, 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 I live in darkness. There's no <laughs> safety isn't existing, actually. You can make it safer, much, much safer. And that that, it, that is a good zero vision doesn't exist i mean it's just mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's a, you, 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 mm -hmm. i think we are getting better and better to 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 both uh, protect ourselves absolutely and, and got 
and get measures to do it, absolutely, and, and get these policies that we have to secure ourselves into the companies, not only to the IT guys, because they are talking the same language as you and me. So mm -hmm. we don't have to convince them. We have to mm -hmm. their bosses, their employers. And I absolutely. think they are going that you know, in that direction because we can now see if we don't take this seriously, then we have a major, major, major problem, Houston. Absolutely. And uh, this is actually one of the key topics of our agenda as well, like, you know, to build the gap or the bridge between the security folks and the rest of the organization, especially the management, for them to understand the heaviness of this problem or the mm -hmm. gravity of this problem. So thank you so very much, Jan, for joining us. And uh, just wanted to let you all know that Jan will be joining us at the 25th of uh, May uh, at our 16th annual Nordic Guide Security in a panel talking about cloud uh, so please to find out more join us there and Jan yet again thank you so much for joining us and we're looking forward to see you in person in May absolutely thank you cheers